prototype to final clock. Hey guys, Jacques here. So I want to talk a little bit about the escape mode of this watch. How I started with the first prototype and how I end up to this. So, a couple steps to do this. I first made this little prototype escape mode. And then the balance wheel, it's gravity. It's just a bolt here. So it kind of swing back and forth and then the drive weight is two metric 12 nuts it seems to be working so that's uh, some number of grams I'll put <laughs> the steps to get there in the book I had the link attached below page 33 there's a, there's a design with the dimension of the escapement so the first part is the es escape wheel and the pins, the anchor pins. The second drawing on the page 34 who is the interaction with the, the anchor and the balance wheel. From those description I get this sketch for the escape wheel, the anchor and then this sketch for the anchor balance wheel. In the original watch, the pins are 0.2 millimeter in diameter, so I thought it would be con convenient to make the escapement five times the size, so that gives me pins who are one millimeter. So then I reuse this sketch, turn off the editing of the sketch, or have those white lines. So I make a disc, have the profile for the tooth here. Then I adjust the profile of the tooth for 3D printing because I cannot do those very sharp angles that's on here. So I added a little bit incline here so it, with the round at the end it ends up at the same diameter. So once I have a tooth, circular pattern patterns for the spokes and the I end up add a hub so it can tie up the spring. Then for the anchor, take that first, first sketch, copy it in the body of the anchor. I can use that sketch as a reference. So using those reference, then I start the first part of the anchor, just the pins and the hub. Add the fork with a new sketch. Then add the hub and a little bit more material to hold up the pins here. Finally add the counterweight. The idea would be to have it balanced so it works in every position. Because a watch is supposed to work in any position so the it's best if the anchor is balanced. And then the last part is the balance wheel, that little balance wheel. It's simply a disc, two pins and a bolt. The idea of the two pins, I replace the impulse jewel with those two pins. It has the same width and has the same function. And then once I have all the parts made I put uh, I created all the bodies at the origin XY origin but then I can move them to the respective position I can change the placement value to study the interaction of the different parts so I can turn the escape wheel turn the anchor and see how it engage and release and once I'm happy with the drawing printed the parts Put this together, it's really simple. Just some two millimeter rods, all the parts slide on, then I have a front back frame, you can move the wheel to rewind the string. Works best when there's some weight at the end, and I push it back in place. There it goes.
And now I can see it in slow motion. In this final version of uh, Involute gear profile, I've tried Cycloid and Involute. Cannot really say which one is the best. This is the Cycloid gear and this is Involute. At this scale, it's hard to say the difference. And I'm not sure which one worked best. I think they're pretty similar, actually. The last thing, I managed to get more room here between the balance wheel and the top of the bridge. So I'm going to redo a spring that will sit in between here so it doesn't stick out like here. And then I'll be pretty much done with this watch and I'm going to put the files on my mini factory. Last thing, the, you can see the spring in here, the shiny part. I was hoping to get 12 hours of runtime, but I tried and I think the best I'm getting is 8 hours only. But, oh well, that's what it is. It's just a 3D printed prototype. There'll be more to come. <laughs> I think it actually works quite well using the knob. We can set it up on a shelf like this. I might just do a bigger one. So, so that's it for this video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.